Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We are here at Gateway this week, the home track for me and for Gavin, League Commissioner. Uh, We're just about to go into qualifying here and a little undecisive about how I want my brake bias. I think I'll probably leave it at 60. There might be a way, it might be possible to get some more speed out of it if I were to increase it, but it's almost a trade-off here, because 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, very different corners. Kind of have the Darlington thing going on here, where you got like an egg shape. Very unique track gateway is. And uh, a very challenging one, too. Not sure I'm quite up to speed on pace as some of the fastest guys, but I'll give it my best here. Green flag, green flag. It really flag. likes to get loose out of the corner. That was a little bit more sliding than I wanted to do. Okay, okay, that was decent. We're right about equal to our best attempt through one and two. That was overdrawn, overdriven massively. That's terrible. That ruins the whole lap. We're gonna have to hope that we have a better run. One more lap. Lap two. Re feeling really inconsistent here for this one. Me too. The lap time was at 33.8. But you know, it's okay. That's just okay. Can't get one through one and two very well that time. That was pretty awful. Oh boy. Slow it down this time, see if we can. Still overdrive it. I'm not very good here. I think that's what I've come to realize. I'm not feeling very good here at uh, Gateway. Home field disadvantage. I'm in the eights. Terrible. Just terrible. I'm very surprised by some of the things I'm seeing out here at the eights and stuff, because... I was seeing guys in the sixes and everything. Heck, I was seeing like Mitch like down in the freaking fours or threes or something. So I'm very surprised. Wish I waited the queue, check I went down pretty good bit. Huh. So we're falling back. There's Mitch with the point five. That's kinda more what I was expecting. I did terrible, I felt like. But still it looks like it's still a decent qualifying run. So I'll take it. Still a couple people to go, though. Oh, we got a lot of incidents in qualifying, looks like. Some wall hits and loss of controls, maybe. It's tough out here, man. I That doesn't surprise me at all. I should have done a practice pit in, is what I should have done. But we'll have the um, warm-up still beforehand, and uh, because we will... I'll be back with you here in just a bit. Um, actually, you know what? Let's look at the league standings. I forgot that's a thing that we do. Because <laughs> this is a long league with point standings and such. So, hey, let's go take a look at that. I'll bring that up for you. As the race or the qualifying results keep coming in. P4 at the moment. All right. Let's turn this on so we can see the browser and we can see the league standings. All right, so here we are, P1 right now, with 2162 total points, 103 above Gavin, and Tracy close behind there. And uh, I definitely expect him to continue climbing forward. We cannot uh, be complacent with what's not even that large of a gap we have. We have to continue to uh, push hard every week. Because that gap is not going to be there forever. I highly doubt it. So um, that's what we have going on there. Get that out of the way and talked about and discussed. So now we all know the situation. Heading into Gateway tonight. I'm just looking for a decent solid finish. Because not feeling too stable, feeling pretty uncomfortable, really. And uh, it's a tough track, so. 
Just a, a top 10 would be fantastic if we could pull that off. And uh, that's kind of the goal I'm going with, so. I guess we can uh, go ahead and practice pit in. If you're interested in getting straight to the start of the race, of course, I'll have the chapters. But I'll go ahead and record this. What happened? Something happened to Caden? I know he qualified well. Do you not expect that? Third? <laughs> That's a very nice run. Very nice qualifying effort. So you got Mitch on the pole with quite a gap. I feel like if I had put it together, I might have gotten close to that, but I don't think I would have gotten that. I think uh, high sevens, low eights was kind of what I was running consistently with a rare, you know, seven or six or better. If you hit it just right, but it's very hard. Very difficult to do. We're going to be doing practice pit entry, like I said. Very interesting pit road entry here because you have to use an access road. You can't come onto pit road straight from the track or else you will get a penalty. And that's very important to note. Uh, Gavin made sure everybody knew that. I'm just going to let some guys by. So, you can see that's uh, what a lot of people are doing. They're practicing their pit entry. Inside. We'll get up to speed. I've been able to get on pit road pretty good a couple times, but this is a really uh, good one to practice because there's a lot more to it than just slowing down. Since you got to go around that corner. Okay, to get on. Yeah, pit road really tight. Very tough. It's a. Uh, it's interesting though, and I, I like a good challenge, so not good time back, guys. we'll go at it. Best of our ability. Shift it into third. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it, Colton. What do you mean? Pit entry? Yeah. What did I do wrong? Oh, I thought we had to enter on the back stretch, but I could not have a clue what I'm talking about, too. Oh, I did enter on the back stretch. Oh, maybe that was a different car, I think. <laughs> no, I think it was Colton giving me a well. Endangering on warm ups. <laughs> Right. I'm not going crazy, right? I didn't, uh... Yeah. We went on the backstretch. We're all good. That's the end of the session. P4. Maybe somebody else uh, came down. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll check. I'll check to see if anybody else did, so that way they know for sure. Dan comes down the right spot. Um, yeah, I don't see anybody coming down the wrong place. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so anyway, we got this all set up and we are ready to race. This camera looking all good and nice. Later, 150 laps. Good luck, everybody. Looking forward to it. One to go. Next Session time last. Oh, if we could closed. save just a little bit of fuel and do 50 lap runs, that would be very interesting. We might have to go for that. Pit at 50, pit at 100, go to 150. I think we kind of have to try to do that, actually. Let's save some fuel. So we definitely want to try to make that if we can. That's close enough that it's very possible. We'd have to save 1.2 gallons. Or rather, you know, laps. I always get those mixed up. I say it interchangeably, but that doesn't make sense. So I gotta make sure I don't confuse myself doing that. Yeah, 
Get ready. Going Save as much as we can. Outlap. And the pace car's gonna go in last second. Pace car's gonna get that EOL. <laughs> Gotta make sure we're ready though so we can launch. Should we have room? Just in case. We could run on the outside. And there's an immediate wreck. Okay. That's interesting. Save some fuel. Can't use any tire under uh, yellow conditions here. Not what you want to see. It's very surprising with how clean this. Uh, Season has been, but also not too surprising because this is a very tough track. Save fuel here. Should be able to catch the pace car, no trouble. And I mean, we just started, so hopefully that wasn't too big of a mess. Not too many people caught up in that or anything. There's no one right up on us, so I don't think anyone's trying to pit right now or anything. I'm all about saving the fuel. Two to green already. At least they seem like short cautions, so if we do get some more, they won't take too long. be interesting to see how our fuel mileage changes as we actually get green conditions to see how accurate this really is, but I think we really want to shoot for that lap 50. And take the shortest way around the track and clutch it here. and go as long as we can. Try to save up early if we are able to, so we don't have to save later if it does go green. I'm going to be on the inside anyway. Or no, we're uh, single file restarts, that's right. We able to see who maybe got damaged in all that? I know uh, it was Lance apologizing. Let's see some guys that are in the back. Okay, Colton, get ready. Chuck is just surprising to see back there. He was very fast in practice, so I don't know if he got knocked back or if he chose not to qualify. Because I didn't see where he qualified, but I know he was fast, so that's interesting to see. Get closed up so nobody, uh, there's no accordion effect or anything. Don't want anybody to end up with damage or anything like that. About to go green, stay focused. About to go green, it says, but we still gotta get through the corners. Still gonna stay in fourth and roll a bit. Not too worried about protecting that outside or anything. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, 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 flag, green flag. Can see Mitch too well. Alright, let's get some green laps in. I think the single file restart should help. 
with that. Oh, that's not good. Too many cautions already, guys. This is not what we want to see. This series has been so good. So I'm going to save as much as I can in case this does go green. Like you would normally expect from the series. Lance has had another issue, it sounds like. He's had a trouble to get this one started. He's backing out. That really sucks for him. But uh, very kind of him. You gotta pass me. Very kind of him to uh, to make that decision. I'm sure that's not what he wants to do, but if he's having trouble, that's very selfless of him, and it's appreciated. Closed. Pit road is closed. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. So. Any names that we recognize in the in the very back? Oh, we got a lot of people pitting, probably for extra fuel, topping it off. So I don't know if that's necessarily damage. Though there could have been How bad is it, Gavin? people affected. Chuck. Well, they said all the damage is repairable, but I don't know how that's possible. I got oh. a minute and 45. Interesting. Just gonna put Gavin's the damaged. Yeah, it looks like the whole front end is gone, so I don't know how they think it's all repairable, but we'll see. Interesting. Big damage, but repairable, potentially, for Gavin. Hopefully it is repairable. I haven't uh, really... What's your RPM at item? ...experimented with this uh, damage report feature. I can't get mine to work. I have mine mapped to yeah, a button, and it never says that. anything. Yeah, I figured... Hey, you should be fine somewhere like here. Actually, it might not be bad if you're down 20 RPM on this track. One left to green. Going green. It's kind of true. Right. Yeah, at least you won't be burning the right rear off. It's going to be faster than me anyway. <laughs> For real, I'm trying to let all these fast guys pass me to keep me cautious. Alright, let's get some green laps now, huh? Rocky start, but still plenty of time for everything to even out here for everybody. It's given us the opportunity to save some fuel so we can hopefully do that 5100 stop strategy. Though uh, we're going to go as long as we can in this first run with the extra fuel we've saved. So that hopefully we don't have to save later. About to go green. Stay focused. All right, get a nice little jump. Heading into turn one. Go low into the corner, Tracy. Oh, huh. car almost wiggled and wandered over to that uh, indent. That would not have been good. Trying to keep the car steady. I'm not sure, but I appreciate it. That's a new fastest well, it worked game when I called it out. 34.3. Good lap. That's your yeah. so far. And right behind us. I'm just looking to be smooth right now. Maybe even save a little fuel by lifting off a little early. That nose actually doesn't look too bad yet. A little damage on the right foot. 
Yeah, hopefully it'll be alright. New fastest lap for Grunowski, 33.8. The car ahead has just done a 33.9. The guy behind has just done a 33.9. Alright, we're getting some laps in. Good stuff. Already lap 11 after we lost a big, uh, maybe not a big, but a decent chunk to the slaps. Trying to be good on my right rear. I think that could be very useful, considering how loose it is even with a good right rear. Yeah, I got no straightaway speed. That sucks for Gavin. Never want to get taken out so early. Huge bummer. Especially out of your own race. We'll see what uh, exactly happened later when we check the incidents. For now we can only hear what happened on the radio, really. Give our best guesses. Tracy behind us now. I we'll probably want to go around, and uh, I'm not going to make that hard on him. I'm a. Uh, I just. I have modest expectations for myself this race. I'm not going to try too hard wreck myself because I'm just doing plenty of wrecking in practice, and uh, I'd like to keep that habit out of the race. Because when I push hard, it's here. It seems like it's uh, only sometimes makes me faster, and more often than that makes me wreck so we're not gonna try to get too much here today I think that's the uh, the plan Tracy's taking an interesting line through four I just noticed unless he was just doing that to get a run off the right Kind of trying to get on the right front a little bit more than the right rear. Driving in a little bit harder than I might otherwise. And trying to save tire just because I really do think it's going to be that right rear that gets angry at us later. Looking for a balance. Not sure anybody's going to have anything for Mitch though, considering how fast he was in qualifying practice. And now finding his way out to a gap in the race. Be a tough guy to keep up with. Getting into a nice rhythm. I'm feeling pretty good. Whenever you're not worried about uh, hitting the fast lap, it's a little easier to hit your marks. As is usually the case, but especially here. I say that right as I uh, mess up that corner, though, over a bit. Not a great 3 and 4 there. Right behind Andrew, less than a half a second. Let's get this thing stopped. I'm overdriving into three now. Such big braking zones here at Gateway with the long straightaways and then pretty sharp turns.
Mitch kind of misses the bottom up there unless he's doing something the higher line. Doing okay for now. How are we doing on fuel? We can make it a couple laps past 50, so I'm happy with that. Really likes getting loose out of four. Tracy's still right behind us. Got a nice gap behind him, though. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to give you the bottom in three, Tyler. Uh, I wish I would quit sliding it out of the exit of four. Really try not to, but it just it wants to do it so easily. Your last lap time was at 35.1. Binding up pretty good in 1 and 2. So the right front might uh, matter a little bit more than I gave credit for initially. P3 though, I'm, I'm really happy with that. I wasn't expecting much from this race. Of course, we got a long way to go, but Your lap time was I'm happy with where I am. Mitch still got a decent lead up there. You've just done a 35.2. Ooh, Tracy missed the corner, I think, behind us. Good consistency. Keep him coming. Mitch having a wild loose moment. Wow. Both their tires probably heated up in different ways right there. They're not what they wanted. Hi, Joe. I figured I'd let you go move him out of the way. Andrew seems to be on the move, though. He's getting closer to Mitch. Was at Having handling issues, I think. He might be getting a little bit too tight. Getting a little loose. Of course, when haven't I been? That lap time was 35.4. On track to get plenty of ways past 50, I think. He has a great run through three and four that time. Much better than I was able to do. Thank you. Yep. Man, I just can't set you up at all. <laughs> great save. Tracy definitely wanting to get by me. I'm sure I'm slowing him up. Yeah, the wall can take most of credit for that one. It's not there. I think he's going to go for it, though. Quite. 
trying to scare me, maybe. He's gonna get there, though. Just has to get the nose out there. Tiny bit, and uh, he's there. He's got me past. I'm probably driving away as well. I had a really good three and four that time. I don't know what I did differently. Mitch just above one second ahead. Andrew's only half a second behind him. Andrew a loose moment. Okay, Colton, you've got half your fuel left. Half our fuel left. It may almost make it to about fifty five, which is great news. Who's there? Right on the back end of Mitch. Feeling good about how our tires are uh, treating us right now. Seems like we've been good enough to them that we can. You've just done a thirty-five point seven. Keep up with the guys that ahead. Pretty consistent. Why are we blocking back here, guys? That's not, that's not good. Blocking. Kind of what I was thinking. Not even stages in here. 2003-ish era. No stages exist yet. Even then, I don't know if that's warranted a uh, block. Make someone mad at you early in the race. Oh my gosh, Mitch is getting very sideways. Is that going to be enough for Andrew to get to his inside? Oh man, this is a race that's definitely hurting my hands. That's a man handling the wheel here. Gateway. And just close, but not quite there. Getting sideways. A little scary. I'm getting sideways out of the corner. Andrew's to his inside. Kind of have to check up for Mitch there. That's going to get Tracy on her inside. smart about this. People. Oh my gosh, Mitch is very sideways. He nearly spins it. He's having right rear issues for sure. 
We're gonna get around him now. That makes me glad I've taken care of my right rear a little bit. Back in Keep hustling. How do we compare to Andrew and Tracy in front of us? Hard to say at this point. We're all doing pretty decent, I think, with our handling. I don't see too many big moments from either of them. Feeling okay. Relatively. We can go a little bit farther still. Your last lap time On fuel. If you'll wait till turn three and four, I'll let you have it, have it Steve. Mitch falling off hard. Just to see what my tires tell me. So I feel both uh, tight in, but a little loose off, but nothing too unbalanced. So I feel like I might have done a pretty good job so far. Thank you. Kind of snuck it in there on you a little bit. Couldn't run out of two. Still pretty wobbly though. Oh, my hands hurt. I had a feeling it was going to be a very physical driving experience here today. So far has been even quite early. Good one and two there. Throw that in too hard. Watching them instead of watching my own breaking points. It's a bad habit. Wow. Okay, stopped gripping. That was not good. That lap time was 36.2. Not what I want to do there. Thankfully, I don't think that damaged us at all. Just a wall tap, but not at all what I want to be doing. Oh my gosh, my right rear. Very upset all of a sudden. Okay, I need to calm it down. It's like my tires hit a wall. I guess they probably just slid right there in it. It's very bad news. The gap to Pedder ahead is now 0.8. Take it easy. Get back to being consistent. Just uh, it's really wobbly on the throttle now. It's once we get really low RPM, it's because the tires are spinning up a bit. That lap was a thirty-six point zero. Be a little more patient on the throttle. That was obviously, uh, that moment we had was very not good. Still third. And, uh, I think we'll be able to pick it back up again. Big moment for Andrew up there from the lead. Going around the outside of a lap car for some reason. You've just done a 36.0. That'll work, I guess. As long as we clear him into uh, on the back stretch here, which we do. Side by side for the lead now. That'll help us catch back up a little bit. Okay, Colton. The next car is 
<laughs> no, it won't. Tracy's just gonna go ahead and take the lead. Drives one and two, though, I think. Just a bit. Is Andrew going to get back to his inside? Great racing up there. Andrew not quite able to get there. I was feeling a bit better now after I had the big slidey moments started to lose a lot of grip that's five minutes of fuel left Get closer to pitting about eight laps away <laughs> Dan what you and me are in think Do it again out of the corner. Yeah, turn corner. Okay, Colton, you're reeling. Fips in. The gap is now 0.6. Your lap time was 35.9. That's good consistency. Keep it up. We've got quite a gap behind us now. Three seconds back to Mitch, who's really had a lot of trouble. A fall off. Andrew almost able to cut under him there. Really liking kind of getting that uh, curb a little bit. No problem. We're getting real close again, since they've now gotten side by side a couple more times. That was a 35.9. We're going to protect the inside a little bit. Inside, clear. Go ahead and take it, Chuck. Great battle, no one running away with this by any means. You've got about five laps of fuel. You've just done a 36.1. Trying to get a run through there, not quite. Is there a history here I don't know about? No, just a consistency. I'm about to eat. See if we can possibly get around. Big moment here. Though we were able to fight through it pretty good. I'm already sweating, man. This is going to be a tough race. It's already been a tough race. Tracy goes wide. And just going to get to his inside. They are side by side. We've got three laps of fuel left. The gap behind has increased to 6.7. That was a uh, 36.0. <laughs> That's good consistency. Keep it up. Damn, 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 damn. Uh-oh, Alan's had issues. Somebody's been black flagged. <laughs> Slow car, down low. Car outside. What a race we've been having. That stretch monster got me. Nah, that was just, uh, ran out of got fuel. Got me. Left of fuel. The next car's the leader. 
take the bow and chuck. Thank you. Oh boy. This is intense. I'll be coming in this lap, coming in this lap. You have about one lap of fuel left. Not as smooth as you're running to six point one. All right, next car, the leader. Fuel left in this lap. Box this lap. I'll be coming in as well. Don't forget to pit this lap for more fuel. Yeah, I'm pitting this lap, Chad. Pitting, pitting. We're running on fumes, mate. In this lap. Box this lap. Okay, very tough entry on the old tires. We get here though. Awesome racing there, guys. Gonna put this lap in. Same. Right here. Same here, no pressure. 6166, interesting. Ooh, so we get on pit road just fine. Okay, go. There's a car behind. Take care, rejoin him. The, the leader is pitting now. It's pitting. Get off pit road. We're still pretty close to Tracy. That's good. Seventy-five didn't this time. Fifty laps takes us quite a ways. Seven. Don't overdrive it. Got more grip now, but don't need to use it all up immediately. Somehow I have a, over a second and a half over Andrew now. B6, that lap was a 34.0. Overdrove that. Kind of thinking about fast lap here, because fastest lap, of course, gets bonus points. So I was kind of thinking about that, but here I am overdriving myself, so. Not the best thing to do. Ooh, what we really should be trying to do is lead a lap. I'm gonna stay high, Trace. You're in fifth, you five. Outside. I would prefer the Clear. low lane there in that corner. <sighs> like if you went down there. Rejoining in front. You're back in fourth position. Just trying to keep up with, up with Tracy right now. Mitch has got a bit of a lead because I think he did an undercut. There's the leader pitting. Back in third. Keep Might be worth it to try a little harder on the uh, right rear. Then again, having a grip back there was kind of nice.
Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Well, that was a 34.3. I'm gonna stay high, Lee. Thankfully, we're back on uh, lead lap after the cycle has pretty much completed here. So no risk of caution putting us in a really bad spot. What happened at Bristol? So that's a bit of a unique circumstance on its own right there. Gavin's got fresh tires coming up behind us. He might want to get around. Go low, John. Oh my goodness. Take it. Go low. Go low, please. I guess people do want Thank people you. to go low. It's kind of tough here because you basically run middle. I want it too. Gavin's going to want his lap back, I'm sure. So if, when he gets alongside us, we will let him go. P3. Tracy taking the lead back from Mitch. Mitch fighting it though. Cup times are pretty consistent. The next car's the leader. Okay, Colton, the next car is Grunowski. Outside. Stay low. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear outside. You're back in second. Me too. The next car is the leader. Clear of him, didn't want to waste much time with that. Okay, Would, I'd really love to lead a lap, but I don't know if Trace is going to let me. Why would he? Because he's uh, going for championship as well. He's only P3 in the championship, so why would he want the guy ahead of him to get any more points? But man, it'd be great. You've just done a 34.9. I think it might benefit us to back it down just a little bit, be smooth, because we've been pushing a little bit harder at the start of this run. Say hi, Chuck. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I checked off my tires on that last box and to top off and decided not to come in and forgot to turn my tires back on, so I'm still on the old tires. Don't do that. But... Oh, my hands hurt. Ouch, yeah, that hurts. Yeah, definitely not recommended. Kevin knows about that. I think that happened to him earlier in the season, didn't it? Where he uh, unchecked his tires and then had to recheck them during the pit stop and basically had to do two stops. Say hi, Dave. Remember one of his races got messed up that way. Very unfortunate. Uh, two sideways there. Thanks, man. This place is almost impossible to pass that. Right? I'm gonna stay high now. Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. You're keeping up with Tracy at least. 35 laps 
or so left on the fuel. I'm just a rolling speed bump right now. Got a good distance behind for Andrew. What if he's saving real hard or something? P2. I'm gonna move this back. I don't know why it didn't occur to me to do this earlier, but I think it could help us. Just gotta be careful with it. I don't got a penalty earlier. I wonder if he was the guy that was blocking. He lets us by though, which is kind of him. Still might have to let Gavin by, he's called us. Okay, I appreciate it. He is in lucky dog position at least. That's good for him. I was hoping you'd hold hold him up a little bit. Yeah, sorry about that. I have to go back on these changes. It's getting a little too sideways on entry for me. That lap was at 55.4. I don't think so. Got me nervous now, though. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, corner angle will bite you without any warning. That's the first time I've exited that high. I'm, I'm undecided, because sometimes it feels good, but sometimes it's just a little too scary on entry for me. Breaks back further. It's only 3%, but it is a noticeable difference. Especially into turn 3 here. I think I'll stick with it. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It's only going to get more useful as the right front gets burned off more, I guess. I just, I, pace is getting away from me. I don't know what to do about it. I'm gonna come in lap 101 or so, I think. That lap time was 35.6. I feel bad. I feel like I'm holding Gavin up.
Tracy's just slowly moving away. And it hurts, man, it hurts. It was like I'm so close. But so far. Need him to have some mistakes, which yeah, good luck with that. Okay, decent one and two it felt like. Getting a little bit closer all of a sudden. Whew. He's better in three and four. I think I might have the edge in one and two though. That last lap was at 35.6. Follow what he's doing a little bit, maybe three and four. Sorry, Gavin, might be my only chance to pass these two, but I don't want to mess with their race. No, you're good. You got me retired. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Point four ahead. Allen's got good tires, I think. I did apparently get no damage from my wall hit, I realize now, because I didn't have any optional to fix during the pit stop, so that's good, no damage. Got someone with really fresh tires coming up now. Thank you. I'm just definitely going to have to let him go. Hang on to it, Shane. He's going to go around the outside, I guess. Yeah, my exit. Really my Wish he wouldn't have, but <laughs> he's got much better tires, so. Clear outside. You've just done a 35.8. Prefer, prefer someone would get you on exit, but you know. Even talk during this race, it's so intense. Oh, caution. We can't make it to the end here. We're under caution, pits are closed. I was begging for that caution, holy cow. Me too, holy shit. Gavin gets the way around. Yeah, I just said thank God as soon as I seen it. Yeah, I forgot to turn my fan on. I was already sweat. I was just about to say that, Nick. It's are open. Catch up, seven, car. Definitely gonna have to take tires, fuel, all that good stuff. Uh, Gotta be really careful not to pass here. Careful not to pass on the uh, access road, guys. It's really easy to give yourself a penalty doing so. 
Sorry, I didn't know if I could get a butt for the picture. I know. I'm bad. I just know that gets people a lot, so I just wanted to remind because I almost forgot. Beatbox team in. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Five, three, two, one. Right here. All right, get it stopped. Seventy-six eighty. That's not too bad. Hey Dakota, I got a minute out of that wall hit. Damn, you hit it that hard. Go, go, go! I didn't think so. Alright. Line up, single file. Let's see, what's our fuel looking like? No way we can make it to the end. You have to say 14 laps. So, to do some math here, we are 100 and, let's see, right now 114 to the finish? No, that's silly. I'm big dumb. Sorry. 14 plus 50 is 64, so we've got a couple pace laps to go. Course, yeah, 30, 30, 14, 114, 115, maybe come in about 115, is that about right? I think that's about what we want. Probably in about 115, I think. So John's going to take a wave around. Gavin, I think, was the lucky dog, wasn't he? Yes, I believe he was. So, that's good. Good to see for him. We're going to drive a little harder this run, I think. Not that we're really taking it easy anyway, but shorter run it's needed right. here. We can maybe get around Tracy. That could be exactly what we need. But, yeah, just pass him. Easy to say, right? Yeah, just pass Tracy. That's what we need to do. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant idea. Thank you. But, you know, with how hard it is to pass, I think, uh, you know, if, if we can, we'll try to get around him. Maybe back it down a little bit, but we'll see what happens. We could easily be the one being passed. So we've got John behind us. Dang, has John, has John been doing the Draft Master Series or something? He's got an A1.3 safety rating right now. I'm, I, I swear he was at A4.9 in the past, recent past, wasn't he? Maybe, I mean, this week, it could have all been lost, like, in the first couple of days of this week, to be honest. You've got the 87s at Martinsville, you've got the uh, street stocks at LA Coliseum, all the NASCAR stuff at Talladega. This week is where safety rating goes to die. So, that might have been what happened to him. In terms of that, because I could have swore he had an A4.9, or at least in the 4s. That's interesting. Anyway, stop thinking about that. Start thinking about this restart. Shane, I'm going to stay down on the start. Very early for Tracy. Hopefully we weren't sleeping too hard. Could have been much better, though. Oh, careful. It's very slidey. Thank you, Alan. New tires. You took my idea, Jeff. Good luck passing him. Some great idea I had. <laughs> okay, Colton. We're matching race pace. Do what we can, though. 
See what happens. I get about fast laps too, in case I can pull off fastest lap of the race. That's a pretty good one. Your lap time was at 33.7. Hmm. I feel like Midge probably has the fastest lap though. He was running really quick laps at the very start of the event. able to gain a bit into turn one. I think that's what I really got to rely on. Thank you, Jordan. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Ugh, got too loose. Tried to get a big run out of the corner, and that wasn't happening. We gained and then we lost some. That was a thirty-four point four. Lap time was thirty four point four. Hope we're able to undercut him. I think that could be very, very important. Sorry, I know it was silent for a while there. I'm racing really hard. This is difficult. Be cool to win the home track race. I'm just, I'm not quite as good in three and four. It's just, it's hurting me a lot. I overdrove that so bad. I tried taking a wider entry like I saw Trace doing and it didn't work for me. Oh boy.
115, that's when we're planning. Coming in. Better three and four that time. Your last lap time was at thirty four point eight. I hope he doesn't pit before us. I really think if we can pit and get the undercut, that could be a race winning move for us, but I don't want to come in too early either, so that's not going to help either. Nick is in. I think he's going for the 50 lap run to end the race. It's demoralizing watching him get away out of four every every lap. That lap was at 35.1. That lap was a 35.0. That time's pretty consistent. It's so hard to even talk right now. I'm sorry, I know it's pretty quiet. Trying everything I can to try to keep as close as I can before the pit stops here. Right, 46 to go. That was a 35.3. Tighten big loose on exit. Starting to pull away again, I think. Is it time to pit? Maybe we come in even earlier. Starting to get away. Might be time. Nick wants to pass, I know he does. I'm sorry, I'm holding you up. Car inside. Stay high. Keep high. Clear inside. Coming in. Never mind, holy cow, I'm glad I didn't. Pit road is closed. Oh boy. Oh no, Gavin, was that my fault? Uh, glad I didn't. No, I'm just terrible trying to get more out of my completely destroyed Man, there goes our handle. chance to undercut, though. Ugh. I needed the track position, man. I really needed it. We're under caution. It's 
closed. Base car is out. Line up two sets five. left. Car we'll take the fuel. That stinks. It sounds like Gavin had a, another issue. Just after getting on the lead lap, too. That sucks. I see smoke as well. Pit road's open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Can our pit crew... get us the lead? Let's see. Okay, Colton. Half distance. We estimate 15 minutes of fuel remaining. Man, I wish I knew if I passed the base here, give me a black and out. The leader, Edda, is pitting. Look out for the pit speed limit. We think we'll need to stop again. Pit box in 10. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. 8788. Come on, let's see if we can get it. Okay, punch it. Never mind, we won't even get freaking second. Or will we, because he speeds. Or did we beat him? I don't think we did. I don't know how the hell it did not catch me for speeding there. Yeah, because that was. He must have sped. Glad I didn't uh, speed trying to keep in front of him then. I blurred it and the pit ahead of you looked up and I was like, oh shit, I'm at 49 and just slammed on it. You ain't cheating if it don't catch you. We're going to try to pass him here. So we're going to put the brake bias forward. That could be a mistake. I don't know. But we're going for fast lap. I, just, I have to get around him if I want any chance. The undercut was going to be my chance. That's gone now. So we got to pass him on track. That's going to be tough. If not <laughs> impossible. Uh, not impossible. It's not impossible, but... I don't know if I've got it in, in me. I'm crashing myself. I'm gonna try. Gotta try at least. And then and if not, we're in P2, which is awesome, so we'll hang out. Uh, hopefully try to keep P2 at least then. If our attempt to go around, uh, get around him doesn't pan out. John and Shane getting the wave around up in front. Pits are open. Gonna be 39 to go, I believe, whenever we get back green. Got Andrew behind us, having himself a great run. Then Mitch, Layton in the top five. Ian, Chuck, Tyler, Dakota. Then Nick King, rounding out the top ten. make sure not to overdrive too though because overdriving is just going to make me slower so even though I want to push and try to go fast here overdriving it's not going to be what we need so I got to be smart with that too the tires are going to be cold first lap or two so I won't be able to push it as hard just trying to draw from my experiences here to see if we can do everything we can
Outpost carries off. Time to do your job. A stinker restarts apparently. Okay, it's really hard. That sounded like he was really close to our door. Stay high. Clear inside. Fight that off. Stay high, sir. I guess I just stink at restarts. I don't know, man. It's so sideways. it through the entry. Entering too hard. Point four ahead, probably gonna stretch it to point five by the end of the straight. I just can't do three and four, and that's just been my downfall. Or at least I can't do it as well as Tracy. You've just done a 34.1. Even one and two there, that was not even good. So, I don't know. I'm running out of ideas. Yeah, that was a good idea. Let's drive uh, on the curb. connection I didn't see who it was that's what they're all talking about we're just gonna finish p2 maybe we just need a mistake or two from him. Not going to be likely. That lap time was 34.4. We might just need to back it down and try to maintain our second place, but 
man, it's going to be hard to convince me to do that because we're so close. Well, that's probably what's best for me right now because I don't think we're going to catch up to the point eight, but... Low on exit there. Hurts our runoff. We better hope we can at least even keep P2. Because so Andrew's back there within half a second. Then Mitch behind him, and we know Mitch is fast. Your lap time was 34.7. this back. Side by side behind us, hopefully they have themselves a nice long battle so I can feel a little more secure. Finishing second. Andrew holds him off for now it looks like. He's just holding P, uh, the point eight right now. I'm not even catching him in one and two like I was last round. Just done at 35.0. <laughs> I can't, man. My arms are tired. I think we just got to focus on holding off Andrew at this point. He's point four behind. Okay, and, uh, I'm blowing turns one and two, so he's going to be closer. Three to go. That was a uh, 35.3. Just try to keep our P2 then. Smoke? I guess someone came off pit road. Why is Mitch in the pits? What happened? It's crazy. 
I wonder if he slapped the wallet at some point or something and gave himself a meatball flag. That really sucks. He was having a great race. Point three behind. He's fast right now, man. I think he's done way better tire saving. After I, cr I tried to kill him trying to catch Tracy, it's going to be a tall challenge holding him off for 20 laps. Your last lap time was at 35.4. At least uh, there's a bit of a gap between third and fourth now. Just left. I wonder what happened. Didn't hear anything in chat either. No one said anything. All of a sudden, he's just out of the race. Mute him, did I? No. I'm sorry, I did not mean to fly job like that. <laughs> no, you're good, bro. <laughs> absolutely sent it. Yeah, thanks for cutting me a break there. I appreciate that. Point two behind us. Man, no problem. You were catching me anyway. Yeah, I think I'm about to cut you a break when you get to me too. Gavin. Now you're good. Your face is still just driving no, away. I am not good today. Well, I'm, I'm with you on that one. I think it might benefit. Oh! Don't do that. <laughs> you know what? I was going to say it might benefit me to. Stay lower on the exit of four, but then that happens, so kind of uh, rethinking that idea. A little bit back on Andrew. I don't know how though, because I feel like uh, I'm just getting worse and worse. About to spin out. And I'm sorry, John. No harm, no foul. We're good. Guess a caution could still happen, too. That's always a possibility. I don't know what that, that would mean for us. Scary, 
Probably not too much unless we have another bad restart. Yeah, I got the wobbles. And lose more. Yeah, I thought I was a goner there for a second. Thirteen to go. Andrew's right there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold on to this. Oh Jesus. The car's a handful. are really hot right now from sliding around too much. He might have gotten loose behind us a bit. Sun exit. 11 to go. So loose. There it goes. Got ten minutes of fuel remaining. Got ten left to go. Outside. Clear outside. Full course caution. caution. Yellow flag. Line up single file. Pit road is Go closed. on one and two. Catch the twenty-four car. I don't know. I don't know what happened. That car was a handful. I was losing pace. He was faster than me. Text the back end to me. I don't know if he expected me to be low there. I don't know. Pete Road is now open. It's open. Man. Oh, you gotta take the last set of tires. I think we can pass all these guys. The leader, header, is pitting. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Pit box in. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. All the damage is repairable. 78, 76. Let's stop, Chuck. I must have hit it just right. You are out of tires. Line up single file. Just be patient, I got nothing for you though. I don't know what to say, man. It's probably my fault. I was just so out of control. We both uh, were on our right rear. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Hmm. 
Man, I was happy in, in no man's land, no one around me. I was ready for this one to end. No, I really wanted the caution. I did not. Yeah, I thought I was going to get out of here with a top 10, and now that caution come out, I thought I was going to screw up here at the last. 13th position now. Can't be wrecking people. I'm trying to get as much as we can, but we'll try to go fast. You guys are all on four tires, right? Yep. Yeah, I should have taken two. That sucks for Tracy. That like ruins his race too. He obviously deserved the win. I mean, he still could get it, obviously, but that's gonna be tough to overcome. Don't worry, I've been there before. Should have just probably let him by. One left to green. Okay, Colton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Just don't burn your jaw on the start and bring out another yellow. I think I probably should have just let him by. Or do. No, we need a lap to do the guy cut you. Please. I yeah, I'll try to get this to go to the finish. This could be a good finish between me, Chuck, and Lighton. Yeah, it's been a good race. Let's finish it off. Chad, you gotta have go plenty of time to think about it later. Everybody behind me just passed by. I've got no speed. Get ready. Going green. Got a black flag from it. I just probably got damaged because of uh, our accident. Sideways. And that's the end of the race. That is terrible. Good one, Chuck. Yeah, sorry, man. That sucks. We can see what a sad, sorry ending to this one. Oh, that one was very bad. Just the Good one. Good race, everybody. I'll take a top five on no tires. Good win, Chuck. Thank you. Yeah, that's all the fit through there. Deep road's open. Yeah, good win, Chuck. That was people on our start. My like, only shot was... I don't know. You I need to take a look at it. Yeah, we'll get 11th, I guess. Yeah. I guess. That's... Ugh. What a horrible feeling. That yeah, one bites a little bit. I wanted the two in a row. I know you're cheering, John, holding on to dear life there. Oh yeah, man, I was I was running like 10th or 9th or something, so I, I probably should have just hit the two tires. Honestly, if I did, I might have finished top three right there, but I just thought maybe more people would stay out. Because when the hit. caution comes out in the last five laps, it's over, you know? Yeah, two left to go. I, I, to go. I definitely thought about it. But this one I feels so bad. How shitty I was driving. Yeah, that's why I did take two tires. Got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Two 
I guess on the bright side, those two laps enabled me to gain more points because I'm going to pass more people. We never even let a lap, so we don't get those bonus points. <sighs> I don't know. I really thought about sending it in on your file or going to three, but I, I didn't want to kill both of us. Well, I thought that I was prepared for it. Just stayed a little high in case you did. Yeah, the way I've been holding it into the corners all night, I didn't really want to kill us both. Full course yellow. It's our own. Chuck, would you happen to know how far I had you were of me when that yellow came out? Uh, Last maybe lap. half a car. Yeah, it looked close. Oh, I should have sent it in a little deeper. <laughs> that was a fun moment. A lot of us were grouped up at all race. Five of us, four of us. Pete Road is closed right now. Pace car is yeah, but you, you didn't know if I was going to come down or not and then wreck exposed. So you, you I don't know what to say right now. I'm sorry. I just I need to look at the replay and I can't right now. And it's it, killing me. So. We could have gotten dead by timing this anyway. Nick, I think I stayed the entire race behind your bumper. It's kind of impressive, not going to lie. Yeah, to be honest with you, I'd rather look at the front of your hood than the back of your bumper. <laughs> that was a good race, though. I've stayed behind Dakota a lot, too. Yeah, I missed qualifying. I was just happy to be up there in the top. Oh, let's get this thing over with. Uh, we're going to cross the line. And... Yeah, it was good racing with you, Nick. I was, I was waiting for my tires to fall off. and you. I just should have let them by, probably, with how bad my handling was. Yeah, well, you didn't make enough mistakes. That was the problem. Don't worry, I'll make some more next week. Pit road's open. E11. Okay, we're done. Alright, there's the ticket flag. Pass the E8. Car, pass the <sighs> 19. Let's look car. at it. Thanks, Al. And he just taps us and sends us around. I just I I felt like I needed to after this horrible corner. I Where'd he go? In the list. Good win, Chuck. Good racing, everybody. Am I blind? Here he is. I'm sending it to the wrong person. I'm just all disoriented right now, man. Wait, it does say 11, I don't know. Say, I'm sorry to Tracy. He deserved that one. Ugh, that's so terrible. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to sit and think about this one for a while. I don't really have anything constructive to say about it right now. I'm upset with myself and. Uh, Yeah, we'll look at the incidents. Uh, 
That was just terrible. So Lance gets the 21 on lap one. We're up to lap five. Lance kills Frank. So that's two rear endings right at the start. That's, and then that's when Gavin gets into him. Gavin not too pleased with that, I'm sure. Can't slow it down in time. Gavin catching back up. And we jump all the way to lap 51. Oh boy. What happened here? So, Alan's looking to get around. And then we got blocking, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it was actually intentional blocking or if maybe he's getting loose on throttle. It looks like blocking. It doesn't look like he gets unsettled on throttle, but that's what happens to Alan whenever he has to course correct here. Car doesn't like turning right, and uh, it sends him right into the wall. That's very unfortunate. I'm sure quite frustrating too, because that was caused by a, a blocking attempt it looked like. And loose on exit. Wow, that was actually pretty impressive to keep it to just that. I don't know how he kept that going the right direction. Lap 84, Mitch spins it. Very surprising to see. I know he had a really bad handling car. Late runs some of the times. Shane's just going to pit road, so we'll move on. It looks like John going to get some wall here. And Gavin, loose out of four. Oh, man, corrects it into the wall. He had a rough one, man. I guess we better be uh, appreciative that uh, at least we got it to the end on the lead lap. Take what we can get. <sighs> we want to restart here. Chad's not getting a very good <laughs> jump. More issues for Mitch, but that's just a wall tap. I think we do that later. If that hasn't happened already. I think it happened already, actually. Big wall hit there. Whoa. That was very close to being disaster, and then here's our accident. Just you can't touch the rear ends of the car. Like that, it sucks so bad that it that light tiny touch is what sends us around. Man, that really sucks. So I mean, it's. It's my fault for getting so loose on exit there. My tires were just on fire with the heat. And after I ended up down there, I wanted to hold my line so I'm not cutting in front of them into a big braking zone. And so we, we stay a lane lower. And because we are happen to go into a lane lower, we're going to be slower through the middle. And not only that, but because our tires are so bad, like we're like struggling to hold the line we want to in this middle lane. Because um, that's you know, the lane I wanted to take was the second lane. That's the fast lane. And I'm just getting sideways because there's no grip in the tires. And, uh, unfortunately he just finds our rear end just the tiniest bit. Sends us around. So I probably, I probably should have just let him by with how bad my tires were. <sighs> and I can't see if people are coming. 
gotta be patient and uh, let him buy. Oh, that really sucks. That, it's a really sucky ending to this one. And then we'll see what ended the race coming up here as we get restarted. 23 loose and overcorrects, and that ends the race. So, just a self spin to end it. No, uh, no one makes contact, it looks like, at least. And Chuck gets the land, which is our accident cost Tracy too, which really sucks. Good, great for Chuck though, too. I mean, he put him in a, his, himself in a position to uh, take advantage, so you can't take that away from him. But we definitely took it away from uh, Tracy, and that really stinks. So, <clears throat> all right. Well, we'll uh, look at the race results page here. I'll get it refreshed and uh, bring it up. Here it is, so we uh, don't lead any laps, but we do get the fastest laps, so that's good. I, I tried for that and managed to get it, so at least we'll have some bonus points there. We will lose a total of 50 to Tracy, and uh, we'll gain some on Gavin after he had a rough go of it. Hmm. But you see, uh, well, at, he gets, at least Tracy gets the same amount of points, I guess, as the winner. Leading the most laps, I assume is what that's from. So that's that, and then we will look at the league standings now. You can see Tracy has taken over P2. And uh, has gained some on us. He's making his way forward. I said it before the race. He's just going to keep inching closer, I think. So being able to uh, maintain that as much as possible. It's going to be key, and I was uh, not able to do that today. Um, I blew a guaranteed second or third. Could have been a guaranteed third if I just let him by, so... I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about this one a little bit more. And uh, I, hope Andrew, I hope Andrew's not too mad at me. He didn't say anything in response. So if, if he's upset, I understand. Uh, I don't know. That'll do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.